Today I'm going to get to show you our new functionality around the ability to populate a table with the contents of a status board. So you can see here in my browser I've got a form field called shelters and this content on my form is actually populated from the shelters module here on the left. So let's take a look. So here are my, my open shelters and you can see it's pulled them in onto my situation form. Now that's cool. So how does this work? Well, let me jump to the admin area and we'll build a new one. Um, let's build a form that is gonna pull from our damage assessment anything with no damage onto a, a new form. Okay, so we jump to the admin area. We go to templates and forms. We're gonna create a new form called no damage. Okay, and then we're gonna add a new section called a table field here. And this will be no damage. And that table is going to link to a new module. So damage assessment. And here's where you'll see you can I can now import the fields across. So it's giving me my damage assessment form, and I want my name, I want my location. And um, we'll also put up, uh, say, a status on that, okay? And this is where I talked about filters. So these are our expression-based filters, which are really powerful. So I'm gonna say anything where the value of status is no, is, um, has no damage. So data.status equals, and we help you with these expressions. Just drop a, an email to our help desk. We'll write the expression for you if you need it. So we're now gonna have this no damage section on a form. Let's put in a date and time prepared at, we'll make that a date and time and uh, perfect. Okay, and no damage. So you might filter your damage assessment based on a district, region, a damage status, a cost. You can put a, you know, a cost is greater than a thousand dollars. So you can do lots of stuff here. So let's just press save on this. We'll jump back over to my incident. We'll go to forms instantly across all my platforms, including mobile. I've got a new form here called no damage form. Okay, I open that and you'll see I can go prepare that now, timestamp that and populate this table from the damage assessment. There you go, it's pill, pulled out the ones with no damage. Just to show you what it looks like. Now this is a snapshot, so um, it was prepared out of time that form, but Let's say I just add a third one with no damage. Back on my form, we don't actually, because you prepared this at a time, but now I might want to update my form. So I'm gonna either duplicate my form, snapshot it, or, or effectively come back in here, but I'm gonna press repopulate. It goes back to my status board, pulls in another one that had no damage. And uh, actually we're gonna update this to now. Okay, let's uh, just reset the time, okay. Excellent. So you've seen that uh, ability, how I configured a form and was able to pull uh, the, f the data from a status board into my form. Here it is printed. So super quick, really automated. Uh, this is a lovely feature to really expedite the ability to fill in your ICS forms from your status boards. Okay, uh, look, this has been great showing you uh, how to do this. Our help desk is always open. Email support at d4h.org if you'd like a hand getting this configured in your product. Thanks everyone and uh, stay safe.